Hey folks, this is IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. So as you can see, this is Alex the Assassin. And he's in his T-54 Mod 1. This is a tier 10 game on Cliff. And wait a second. How much have we been on Cliff lately? Because it seems like this is the only place World of Tanks games are happening anymore. Does anyone... Anyone have any decent games on other in other places because I haven't seen them so I'm gonna assume you guys haven't sent them to me <laughs> anyways um before we get too far into this game a couple things to note first off um if it feels like I'm trending away from world tanks it's only because the amount of replays I've been getting have slowed down quite a bit and so in order to keep producing content I gotta you know, go where the games are kind of thing, right? Also, I got quite a big reaction and some folks joined the channel because of the Reddit videos I posted a while ago, like last week, I think, so I'm going to go back to some of those and uh, do some of those more often and see if we can't get more people into the channel and all that to say, I think that's everything that needs to get said. One little tidbit for this game, though, this guy down here, the Steel Toaster, is a friend, and he's a good player. So watch out for that Emil during this game, because uh, <laughs> he could be the bane of Alex's existence. Assuming he's anywhere nearby. Oh, hello, Mr. Hawk12. Are you trying to die? I mean, obviously, the now 7 is not. But the Hawk12... Hmm. Hawk12 is actually just following along the now 7. Now 7 is actually doing some real work, um, right up until that point. Anyways, the Hawk 12 was doing a good job. And then, he went and jumped on us, and now, this poor Now 7 is in a horrible spot. Where he's caught between a Bat Chat and a 54 Mod 1. Obviously, he's prioritizing the Bat Chat. Um, but he doesn't even get to, get to kill the Bat Chat. It's unfortunate for him. And now... Now, <laughs> the VK4502B is pulled out into the action as well. And he didn't really do anything. He just kind of hung out for a little bit and then he died. So, yeah. Um, apparently, Alex is having some trouble f understanding why somebody would play one tank as many times as this guy's apparently played his Tiger 2. Um,. Come on. Yep, just go ahead and shove him sideways. Now that ram was designed to take his tracks off. It's not quite what happened, but it should do a fair bit towards uh, eliminating this guy without taking too much damage. Oh, you missed! You missed! Thankfully, your team was there to clean it up for you. I'm also pretty sure the Bat Chat was out of ammo. Um. So the meal is still doing work on the enemy team somewhere. Um, he's in the middle of the map right there. But we haven't physically met him yet. Ooh! Hello, Death Star! Since you're looking the other way, we're gonna go ahead and tap you on the shoulder. And then run away! <laughs> because, of course, nobody wants that thing to look at them, right? Uh, we know it just fired. Uh, probably our I-3A, or our Object 252 is having a worse day. Most likely that thing did not hit our AMX, because if it did, there wouldn't be an AMX left. But, you know, just just the little things. Uh, the meal has actually gone down, so we don't even need to worry about Toaster in this game. As we track <laughs> the Death Star, but well, that's all we can do to it. Um... Repeatedly firing into the same idea, the same place, is going to keep him tracked. Or unless, of course, we've been missing. <laughs> Which case, oh, apparently he's going to walk in from our shot, and then we missed again. I don't. Know. Oops, sorry about that. I, uh, I, I thought, oh, I, don't know. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> so just disregard the whole camera moving right there. Um, I'm, I don't think this is the best way to engage um, 
the 183, there isn't anything else that's gonna s stop you if you want to engage him in a different way. Like maybe stick close to the wall over there and push up directly behind him versus trying to shoot him on this uh, oblong, uh, this obtuse angle. You're more likely just to ricochet off or just track him or something instead of doing actual damage. In the meantime, he just took out the object 257. So that puts him in a, in a decisively better situation than he was before the 257 died. Yep. Finally, Alex has realized that this is not the place he wants to be if, in fact, that 183 comes a calling. Well, never mind, the 183 is dead. Never mind. Well, I don't know what I was thinking. He's most likely worried about the STRB uh, 103 that is more than likely up here where he should be. Uh, VK. Oh, Scorpion up there, too. Uh, VK is doing its job. And we got lit by something. Maybe the VK, actually. But uh, we need to get one shot out on the T92 and two shots for a dead T92. Either way, it would have been dead as you can see that shot arcing in from above. Okay. <laughs> and that is uh, the STRV that he was afraid of. And now we understand why, right? Well, one more shell. Oh, well. Nope, oh, there he's lit again. Uh, we're not going to get a shell into him, though. Not from that angle, anyway. Oh, I mean, if he... Mm, I was going to say, if he turns and shows us his side, we can get a shell into his side. And, and we can, except, if, of course, we have to hit him. And this gun has not proven to be amazingly accurate. Our uh, Yagzilla is pushing forward. It's going to relight him. And we're going to have one more bite at this apple before it goes away forever. But at the same time, there's a T95 and a, uh, a VKB down there. Actually getting a shot into the VKB while the Tiger 2 in the middle of that takes out the STRV. And it looks like the Yagzilla is pushing forward on the Scorpion. I don't think he's going to get to kill him though. Nope. In fact, already takes the kill. And the T95 is left all by its lonesome. But if it's going to back out, then we're going to take that kill. And with four kills, we get to go back to base. Great job. And let's see what his post battle results looks like. Wow. Ace tanker, fighter, spotter, bruiser, duelist, fire for fact, shell proof. And he earns a, a single bond off that. Anyways, <laughs> he gets the lavishing goes uh, for destroying two enemies that are a tier higher than you. And overall, he did really quite well, um, topping out on his team for damage. Oh, for a second there, I thought our bat chat artillery did more than our actual bat chat. I was going to be really sad. Because that's a thing that should never happen. But it's, it's not how it worked out. <laughs> uh, 31 shots fire, 4,000 damage. And actually... Good Lord, almost the exact same damage done as uh, damage spotted, with a little bit of damage blocked in there just to keep us alive, considering the fact that we are on just a fraction of health by the end of the game. These were entirely necessary, and it was a great game. Thank you so much, Alex, for saying this in. I can't wait to see all your next games. And send me games, folks. Please send me games. Everybody can have a game up here. Just send me games. Uh, Discord is actually the best way to do that. Point that way, of course, because my Discord is set up right there. But your Discord might be somewhere else. So just go to the replays section of my Discord, and you can drop the links in there from replays so that you can get your replays seen and show and talk about it. I'm going to shut up now and leave you guys to it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. This IOE throughout.